So, hey guys, Chaos are here. So we often we don't often get interesting looking free to play captains in OPTC, but we did this treasure map in the treasure map free to play wiper. Let's take a look at his captain ability before we use him. He's a shoot and free spirit captain, four times attack, one point two times HP, which is fine. Pretty standard for free to play nowadays. Uh, the interesting thing with this Viper though is that when he goes below 30% HP, you launch his special automatically. This is like we to Marco. So basically you can use Viper special once for free, which is very dope. His special is also very, very interesting. He can reduce the non-beneficial ore buff by 5 turns. He can change all type slots to tandem. He also makes some slots matching for 3 turns. Uh, two times call affinity for two turns for shooter free spirit. It can it can also buff attack and or boost by plus 0.2. So very versatile unit. And uh, the main thing I wanted to showcase with this unit is both his potential as captain for fun, and also that it's very nice to have a free special that gives full board of tandem. So I decided to take this opportunity to use my newly rainbowed uh, Lucky Roo and Ben Beckman. So this means I have their Super Tandem maxed. Should have probably showed it before this content, but basically uh, you only have to hit two times for the Super Tandem. It's a two times attack boost. You reduce defensive effects by one turn, but yeah, it's mainly that attack boost you want. So all you need basically, you need a Yasop or an Usopp or a Shanks basically. And of course for this team we do have an Usopp and it's not hard to find good shooter Usopps. So yeah, this team turned out pretty solid, pretty fun. I feel like I was able to showcase everything I wanted. And this also pushes two of my personal agendas. The first agenda is of course the shooter agenda. Uh, I take every chance I can to show that supers are pretty badass now. And then secondly, my Lakaru and Ben Beckman agenda. Uh, as if you saw my video for best units of 2022, in my opinion, uh, I picked them as my best legend of the year. Uh, I, I still believe that they are the most fun legend to use overall. So yeah, we'll see what Bandai brings in 2023. But yeah, putting pretty standard in teams like this, when you go shooter. I got very bad orb luck here, like putting just needs to get one quick orb and you keep it here, but I never got a quick orb. But yeah, strength orb worked, otherwise it wouldn't really have hurt to stay here a turn, but... But yeah, some non, not that often seen units here, Chiffon is one. I use her to remove attack down an earlier stage, and I'll use her later to remove the spear. On stage 9, pretty unorthodox, but... Yeah, I use Viper for the first time here. His special is really good here, just for the full board of tandem. Uh, yeah, you do get the buffs removed, but... Give, getting a full board tandem means we get a guaranteed super tandem. So that more than makes up for it, and we can also keep it... For next turn, and next turn I will have an ore blocking support, so I can keep it for the turn after that. And then if you might remember that Viper's Captain gives you a free special, full board of tandem again, and then I can use tandem, uh, uh, Viper's special again, another full board, board of tandem. So yeah, he works out pretty well as Captain here. Obviously, free to play captains aren't uh, viable in any serious teams, but it's always fun to take the chances when you see them. And yeah, here I don't even need any specials, like a Ruben Beckman Captain. Uh, removes all the uh, defensive effects, and we get the super tandem to do the damage we need. And yeah, I use Buggy here. This is basically the only stage I use Buggy. Could have maybe picked another unit, but having a strength unit for this content is pretty nice for the next stage. Especially when you have a quick heavy team that won't do much damage to dex bosses. And yeah, I'm going to do a bit of stalling here. Just stall one more turn. Just going to hit Bellabati a bit lower. 
so I can guarantee a kill. Because the mobs will come back now. So I tap a little better here and then again this resets the auto target. No idea why it works like that, but yeah, probably some wonky thing when enemies come into the screen. Yeah. Mid turn or mid battle, whatever you call it. And yeah, going to use pudding here. Remove the para and bind. Uh, the damage reduction is not optimal here since this is the turn where I want to take damage or the stage. So I'll just one tap, I'll just tap with Wiper twice. This will get my HP low, so this will auto activate Wiper's captain. Will have been super nice if we could keep the orbs here. Honestly, I play stage 9 pretty badly. But yeah, I know now how I could have played it better. Optimally, I could have kept some tandem orbs for next stage, but yeah, it's not really realistic. I do need to activate the super tandem here, probably. In retrospect, there are many plays I could have made. Like, I could have used like a Ruben Beckman special here and kept a tandem orb and still killed, and then used the super tandem next turn to remove defensive effects because. When you load this low HP, the shooters can't get their berry pierce to work. So you can only remove one turn of uh, defensive effects here with Ben Beckman, but of course the super tandem removes a turn. So thinking now, I could have played this more cooler, but whatever, it worked. Uh, the path I chose was stall a turn and then use like a Ruben Beckman special. Uh, in retrospect, with this strategy, it would have been a lot better to also use the Super Claws because my plan for final stage was like uh, use Usopp for Shame Boost, Change Block Corps, use Viper again, Full Board of Tandem, and a Color Affinity, and you get a Super Tandem. So I didn't really need an attack boost on top of that, and this, it would have made this stage a lot easier with this strat I chose. But it worked, so. And yeah, I did give some ideas of how to do it better. But yeah, for fun teams like this, I'm not really interested in doing like the most perfect team. Uh, the fun thing is just making a team that works and is consistent. So yeah, I've already gone through the strat for final stage, going to be a very easy team, especially as we save the super class. But yeah, this Usopp actually got a limited expansion recently. I gave him a key just for this team. And he also actually got berry pairs from that. Which is very dope since of course that helps with the uh, uh, captain ability of Flakaru and Ben Beckman. But yeah, super easy team. Very fun to use a free to play unit as captain for hard content like this. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.